the few celebrities. I got a painting in the uh, in the attic. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's all that good, clean living, not. Last uh, night, uh, I can honestly say last night I partied till one in the morning with the, the Rocky King. <laughs> How many people can say that? I am a Game of, Game of Thrones nerd, so uh, that was Woo! very exciting. Very nice guy. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I was just the, the only I, the only question I really had was that what um, what advice do you have for people who want to be want to be sci-fi actors? Uh, what they, advice do I have for people who want to be sci-fi actors? Yeah, they don't want to necessarily act in other things. They just want to act in sci-fi. Wow, that's real specific. Yeah. It's like when people say I'm typecast. Yep, you're right. It's a bisexual, telepathic, Russian Jew. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of those lately. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I really got typecast. I also play transsexuals in both legal dramas. Uh, L.A. Law and, uh, and uh, what was the other one? Family Law. But you don't see me, you know. It's, it's my voice. I think it's my I'm convinced it's because of my voice. Don't say otherwise. Um, <laughs> to your question, uh, I would say a couple of things. First of all, the industry has changed mm -hmm. enormously. Uh, when I started in the 1980s, I consider myself extremely fortunate. Bring it in. What the hell that noise is. Uh, <laughs> I started, and, and there was actually work available for actors. Um, this is before there was a Kardashian. Uh, oh, yeah. or, or Paris Hilton, or, or anything to do with reality television. So I had a good 20 year run, and then everything changed. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have to realize that for every hour of reality TV, a scripted hour of television disappeared, pretty much. And you have to also realize that there's 400 people on a crew. So all those people got out of work, plus we had strikes and this and that. I don't suggest to anybody to try and to get into the industry right now. It is. It's, I have a 30 year career with a resume that's this long. And when I go up for an audition these days, like I went up for a perception the other day, I go in that room and I go up for this role, which is a one day guest star, one day of work, right? There is uh, 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 Lisa Rinna, it's pretty yeah. famous, Alexandra Paul from Baywatch. There is Paula Tricky, who starred in about 50 films and 300 television shows. Every single woman in there was a name, like a name of some sort. So they had 30 year career behind them and were auditioning for two scenes. Wow. Wow. You know? And then the capper is they put me on hold because their first choice was Canadian, but they had to work out our paperwork. <laughs> but they wanted the backup American. Uh, I mean, I, you know, this is what we go through. And I work a lot. Okay. Yeah. You know? I don't, I, it's, it's in, thank God I diversified and I do other stuff now. Because, uh, I mean, I've got a book coming out this year, I'm making a film, but you can't depend on it. You really can't. So for somebody starting out, and then to have the specificity of saying, I'm only going to do sci-fi. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you can't. What I would suggest to that person is go make your own stuff, your own little uh, web series, and garner up a following that way. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you know, because because right now you're gonna move to Hollywood and tell your agent I only do sci-fi. They're gonna go, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Well, you'll be going out once a year, <laughs> and and then you have to get in the union. And to get in the union is a catch twenty-two. You have to be in the union to do a SAG job, but in order to get a SAG job, you have to be in the union. Figure that one out. Yeah. Well, there's an episode in that five where ISN kind of invades the station and they're really Annoying everybody, and they're annoying the fans too. <laughs> my, my wife, uh, she spent time in Russia, she studied Russian, so she's kind of imparted to me a healthy respect for how to pronounce all things Russian. So, was it as cringe worthy for you guys as it was for us when the ISN tank there introduced you as Commander Ivanova? Ivanova, well, here's the irony Ivanova, or Ivanova, or however you want to say it, is not a Jewish name. No. It's like Smith. Right. So, Joe screwed up. <laughs> uh, that, that's not a Jewish name. It's, it's a Russian name, but it's a very common Russian, regular Christian name. Uh -huh. um, so that's one fault. Uh, the other thing is, yes, occasionally, um, occasionally, you know, that, that, that's crazy. I think the most cringeworthy thing of the whole weekend, can I share this with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're doing the cast photos, and the blonde chick, who I've never met before, who did one episode of Rangers or something, I don't know what the hell about. Just turns to me and says, who are you? <laughs> 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 so I said, I'm Claudia Christian. She goes, oh, Nadia? 
<laughs> and I said, no, Claudia, and um, you are? <laughs> she goes, oh, I was in an episode with Tracy. I said, oh, yes. oh okay. That's, That's when Mira said, she moved to back. <laughs> you come up here sitting drunk. This is ridiculous. <laughs> The only Russian word I ever said was a I went to the American Consortium for school for the education um, was Duche Kamaya, which was something that I actually never really said. My father said Dushenka, which is my little soul. Um, but everyone, the funniest part is whenever somebody comes up to me and says, You have such a great Russian accent in that role. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like Walter Cody? <laughs> <laughs> 